Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be comparing the two versions of the Crystal Council. The originals on the left, or at least the originals in the case of everybody except for Pythor, and the right, which of course is the crystallized versions of those original figures. Now, like I said, I just want to casually compare the two groups of villains. Once again, on the left, you have the originals, and on the right, you have the crystallized Crystal Council versions of them. We are not going to be talking about the Crystal King in today's video. I plan on doing an entirely different video diving into the Crystal King and the other Overlord forms. So like I said, we are just going to be talking about these characters individually. I think we should start off with Harumi and then we'll just go down the list from there. All right, so starting things off with Harumi, on the left we have the 2018 Sons of Garmadon slash Ninjago Hunted Quiet One version of Harumi, and on the right we have the Crystallized version. And as you can see, both of these characters, both of these variants of Harumi are going for entirely different looks, so to speak. While they are similar in terms of the hair uh, to an extent. The hair on the left is rubber, the hair on the right is more of a plastic piece. It still is the same mold obviously, just done up in different material, and I kind of prefer the plastic, more shiny look to be honest. I was never a fan of that original rubber hairstyle, but like I said, both of these characters are going for different looks entirely. The right version looks a little bit more maniacal, with a different type of face that seems more crazy, so to speak, while the original is more mellow, more calm, seemingly more Harumi in nature. Also, in terms of an outfit, I do like the crystallized uh, purple and gray color scheme there. Can't really go wrong with that. Obviously enough, these are both Harumi, but in terms of which one I prefer, I'm thinking about going with the original Quiet One variant, and that's not to say that the crystallized one is bad by any means, it's certainly not. I just think this one is more Harumi, with a nice, dull color scheme, black and a dark blue, and again, that face print there is a lot more Harumi to me than this. I guess maybe we'll see in the crystallized season, maybe if she becomes as maniacal and as crazy as this face suggests, but I prefer the original Harumi for this comparison specifically. Next up, let's take a look at Pythor. Now, Pythor on the left, like I said in the intro, that is not the original Pythor. That is the first white Pythor though, so that's what we're going to be going with for today's video. I figured it would make a lot more sense to compare the two white Pythors, the original and the most recent one, as opposed to trying to compare white Pythor over here to the original purple. Pythor. Now, obviously, the original White Pythor from 2015 is a lot more savage in nature. Again, he has that sort of uh, tribal look to him. I like the belt overall on this guy. And again, he's meant for a different purpose. Over here, in terms of the crystallized version, he is much more uh, uniform, much more, I guess, sophisticated, I guess you can say, in terms of his printing and his outfit. He uses the same Crystal Council uh, torso piece that's been used in other characters, too. They all share the same one. I think the pink armor goes a long way on Pythor to create a more, again, just a more dignified and, I guess, royal look, as opposed to the original White Pythor over here. Uh, I do like the purple hands over here on this guy, though. I think that works quite a bit, but that doesn't mean that there isn't purple to be found on this guy as well. Obviously, the purple torso on this Pythor fits him a lot better than some of the other Crystal Council members. Also, uh, the head pieces, while being the same mold, they are printed a little bit differently. On Crystallized Pythor, he has a pink jewel on his forehead, while Original Pythor has a blue one. Otherwise, that's pretty much the only difference in terms of a, of a face print, right? I think for the faces, they're pretty much the same. Yeah, they look pretty similar in my opinion. Also, the tails are different. Again, same mold, different printing. Crystallized Pythor has some armor going on the tail, but you can see where those similarities lie. And that's another reason why I think we should compare the original white Pythor to this Pythor instead of comparing him to the original purple one. I just think this comparison makes a lot more sense. In terms of which one I prefer, honestly, I kind of prefer the crystallized Pythor. I just think, again, he looks a lot more uh, royal. He looks a lot more strong and intimidating as opposed to the original savage looking Pythor. But Maybe you prefer that look. I don't know. To me, it just kind of depends on what your mood is. But right now, I am very much feeling crystallized Pythor. Maybe it's just because that crystallized torso print and that pink armor, I think, fit Pythor a lot more than some of the other Crystal Council members. Next up here, we have both versions of Mr. E. On the left, we have Mr. E from Sons of Garmadon 2018. And on the right, we have the Mr. F variant from Ninjago Crystallized. Now, yes, these characters are technically different characters. We have Mr. E and Mr. F. But come on, they're supposed to be the the same thing, right? Or at least one is supposed to be inspired by the other. I think this is still a fair comparison to make, obviously enough. And I think for the most part, like I said, each of these figures are trying to do their own thing. On the left, we have a more uh, unique and I guess more dignified Mr. E. He certainly looks a lot more streamlined as opposed to the Mr. F variant, which appears more jagged, maybe a little bit more uh, unstable, for lack of a better term. Both of these characters do have the red visor, which you can flip up on both of them. And those face prints are pretty much identical, except this one prioritizes red, this 
this one prioritizes pink as a color. Both are fine colors given their own individual purposes, but in terms of the helmet design, I much more prefer Mr. E's helmet as opposed to Mr. F's helmet. I just think that original motorcycle helmet is, again, more streamlined, more sophisticated, more clean looking, as opposed to the clunkier, more beefy helmet to be found over here. I'm also a huge fan of the black and red color scheme that the original Mr. E has, while the Mr. F variant is obviously taking inspiration from the other Crystal Council members in the form of his purple and gray torso and his pink armor. I just think the black and red coloring of Mr. E works a lot better for the character. He's supposed to be very mysterious, uh, quiet, but obviously he still can pack a punch. But overall, I think that I like this guy a lot more as opposed to this guy over here. Next up here, we have the two versions of King Vangelis, the Skull Sorcerer on the left and General Vangelis on the right. And uh, for the most part, these two guys are pretty similar in terms of how they're made. Uh, same mask, same wingspan on both of them, obviously. But obviously enough, they do have differences in the torso and the legs. That is very much apparent right here. But overall, in terms of how these guys look together, I think they look pretty good, both as the same character. Again, that look and feel of the original is captured with the crystallized version, but he has legs now. He has legs. He can actually move around. Same torso, same armor as the other Crystal Council members, but I like how they brought back the wings and they brought back that mask as well. I will say in terms of the wings, the original had a hard time connecting them to the figure. He kind of just uses this uh, clear bracket piece, which doesn't look all that great from certain angles. Thankfully, they were able to integrate the wings a little bit better on the crystallized version because they just attach directly to the back of the armor. Maybe if the original had armor similar to the Crystal Council uh, version of Vangelis, maybe I could give the original a pass in that regard. It doesn't look bad from certain angles, but you can still see that clear bracket piece, which does look kind of obnoxious when you're actually looking at it for a long period of time. I think the original has a better torso print and leg print, though, over the crystallized version, just because it's a lot more unique and it's a lot more, I guess, uh, individual for the Vangelis character. And I like the color scheme of black and green and white a lot more than whatever is going on over here. I will say, though, in terms of a face print, the crystallized Vangelis is doing a lot better of a job than the original. I just think the purple and the uh, pink color scheme works a lot better for this specific face. Couldn't tell you why, I just think this looks a lot better over here than this over here. Also, it's a slightly different expression. Uh, the left one kind of looks a little bit weird uh, for some angles, but overall, they are the exact same mask, and I might have even switched up these masks right now, but honestly, I don't really care because they are the exact same in terms of the mask and the wings. Can't really go wrong with either of these guys. In terms of which one I prefer, uh, I couldn't tell you. I think they both have great things going on here, so I'm going to say that this is a nice tie between the two. If I had to give the edge to one, maybe I'd give it to the Crystal Council Vangelis, but honestly, they are both uh, just as good as each other, in my opinion. If you know me, then you would know that I'm not a very big fan of Asphira as a character. However, I can't really deny how great her figures look, and I think these are two very different versions of Asphira, both trying to do their own thing. On the left, you have the original from the 2019 uh, Ninjago sets, and on the right you have the new crystallized one, obviously, and for the most part, these characters are rather similar in terms of how they are designed. Obviously, they both use the same uh, headpiece, the same tail, but different armor. I think that the new crystallized armor is a little bit more sleek on the new one. I just think that looks a lot better in terms of a, uh, of a look, I guess you could say, though the original armor does provide a more royal look. I'm also a big fan of the crystallized color scheme with the gunmetal gray and the pink in the head, as opposed to the original, which had gold and a transparent orange. I just think the uh, the new one, the gunmetal gray with the pink, I think that looks a lot better for this specific mold. Couldn't really tell you why. But overall, I'm still not a huge fan of how they don't use an actual serpentine tail piece. I couldn't tell you why. I was just never a huge fan of the ghost tail piece. I think the new one pulls it off a little bit better though. I like those colors just a lot more than whatever you got going on over here. I much more prefer the, uh, the crystal snake look as opposed to the fire snake look. And in fact, I think that's what I'm going to go with right there. I'd say this version of Asphira is the better of the two. And last but not least, here we have both versions of the mechanic. The original actually comes from the recent Ninjago City Garden set, which is still on the market to this day. And the new one is obviously from Ninjago crystallized. And in terms of the mechanic, kind of an interesting choice to bring him into this crystal council, though I do like how both of these minifigures look. It's kind of amazing to me that we have two mechanic minifigures, but in terms of which one I prefer, uh, they're both equally good in my opinion, though the original I think is a lot more, I guess, uh, iconic, considering that we've seen the mechanic for many seasons before, but we've only recently gotten him as a minifigure. I do like how the face print is different on each of them, though. I do like how this one, again, looks more crazy, more maniacal with the purple coloring going on there. I think in terms of 
of which mechanic figure I like the most. Yeah, I gotta go with the original. I just think it's more iconic looking, more simple, more clean looking, as opposed to the more complicated mess that we have over here. I'm not really sure if the mechanic himself kind of fits with this Crystal Council design. So yeah, that'll pretty much wrap it up for the individual minifigures. In terms of the Crystal Council as a whole, I like how they look as a team. I think they look really unified. Uh, obviously, they each have the same armor pieces, basically the exact same torso print as well. There are enough differences here to excuse, I guess, the similar torso print and the similar armor. They're supposed to be a team. They look unified. The originals obviously capture their more unique and individual attributes and looks, and I think for the most part, in terms of individuality and uniqueness, the originals obviously win, but in terms of representing that teamwork and that sinister six energy, I'd say the new Crystal Council is obviously better. It just kind of depends on what you're grading them on. And of course, with that being said, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here today. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video comparing and contrasting the original Crystal Council variants with the new uh, 2022 Crystallized editions. Feel free to leave a comment down below discussing which of these teams you prefer and which character do you think had the biggest glow up. Leave all your thoughts down below in the comments. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video and that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here today. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again in the next one. Peace.